Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating a couple of cards and even a tag with the Simon Says Stamp October 2022 card kit called Sunflowers and Daisies. When I opened up this kit, I was so excited. I absolutely love sunflowers. I live in Kansas, which is known as the sunflower state. And so I always love good sunflowers. And then of course the daisies are beautiful as well. This kit is chock full of amazing product and I am going to showcase quite a few. As always with my Simon Says Stamp card kit videos, most of the cards are created with components from the kit with maybe just a few things like inks and extras from my stash, but the majority comes from the kit. That's going to include the ivory cardstock that I am going to use as the base for the two cards I'm going to share today. We're going to take a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of ivory cardstock and I am going to stamp it with the large Sunflower Fields image from the Sunflower Fields 6x8 stamp set. We're going to stamp this with Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink. And this is a huge image. And you might look at it and think, man, do I want to color that whole thing in? Good news for my friends who love stenciling. There is a coordinating stencil that comes in the kit. That is right. You can color this so quickly and easily with the included stencils. I love this so much. It makes coloring this image in an absolute snap. So I am going to go ahead and move this out of the way. And I'm going to grab my tonic magnetic mat and we're going to start with the stencils. This is a four piece stencil set. And I'm going to start with one of them here. They are not numbered, so you could probably go in any order you want. I'm going to start with the greenery like the leaves. Look how awesome that lines up. Oh my goodness, you guys love this. Using the magnetic mat makes it easy as I can just use the magnets to hold down my stencil. You can see I forgot when I got started. Also in the kit, you get a Perfection and Citrine full-size ink pad. So you have almost everything you need, you guys, to instantly start stenciling this amazing image. I'm going to go through, I am using small de round detail blending brushes for this. You can probably use anything. And I'm going to just continue to add color to all the little spaces. Now I did notice I missed a couple of the images. Um, it's kind of, it probably is some of the greenery left. I'm going to stencil it kind of a brown color. Uh, the tops of a couple of those sunflowers that look like they maybe have lost their petals. Um, I'm going to use a brown ink from my stash. I think we're going to use some woodsy ink. I did go ahead and grab a lighter green to go with this. I'm using a little Lime Licious with the Perfection. But you probably wouldn't have to. I'm not even really sure if it shows up all that great. So there is the first step. And then we're going to go ahead and look how easy the next one lines up. So now I'm going to go back to Perfection and I'm going to use a pretty heavy hand and add in all of the stems. Coloring with stencils, so, so easy. And again, this is the October 2022 card kit. In the kit today, we are using the 6x8 Sunflower Fields stamp set, the Fresh Daisies embossing folder, the Sunflower Fields stencil set, the Perfection and Citrine positively saturated ink pads, the Hampton Art Deco tags with twine, ivory cardstock, and green leaf cardstock. So I'm using a lot of things in the kit. You also get a black mesh bag that you can store all of your kit components in. I love that. I did take a little citrine to the tops of those sunflowers. And then I'm gonna just blend in some of the woodsy brown color. I went back to that first stencil. Okay. 
Next up, we have the Sunflower Centers. I am going to go with the Woodsy ink and do a pretty heavy application here. And then finally, we have our beautiful Sunflower. Now, if you wanted, you could probably do the flower first and then do the brown, but I found it not to be too big of a deal to go around the outside of the center of the flower. Like I tried not to blend right over the top of the woodsy color a whole lot, especially with a small round detail blending brush. So if you have any sort of detail blending brush, I think this would be fine. If not, I might do the flower first and then go over the top of that with your flower sunflower center. I love the way this looks, but you guys know me and I like to be a little bit extra. I knew that the background was going to be a little too plain for my personal card making tastes. And so I always try to like to think, what can I do to add some sort of interest to this background without taking away from the beautiful image? And when I pull this stencil away, look at that instant color, so quick, so easy. I could make a whole bunch of these. I love it so much. So what we're going to do is take the friend background stamp from Simon Says Stamp. I always love a good text over the back. You guys know this. We are going to take some fawn ink and we are going to stamp this. Now I am going to stamp it first on another four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of ivory cardstock because this is going to serve as the second background or the background of my other card. But because I'm going to be using an embossing folder, I want to stamp it first so I get a good impression. So there is my text background with the fawn ink. And then I'm going to take our sunflower background we just stenciled. And this is always kind of scary since you've taken the time to add the color, but I go ahead and stamp over it and I instantly just loved it. I think it looks so pretty. So let's go ahead and emboss our text background now in the Fresh Daisies embossing folder. Oh my goodness, I love this embossing folder. So I embossed the background that's already been stamped with the text. I'm gonna go back with my Citrine and Perfection inks and also a little woodsy and the small round detail blending brushes as I feel like I can control those better. And gently, I'm gonna start applying ink and I'm gonna to try to keep it mostly to the raised areas. And as I add more and more color, you'll really get to see the design take shape. And I absolutely love how it looks. I hope you guys do too. Um, this worked amazingly well, and it was a really fun way to create a multi-dimensional background <laughs> with a one layer. Um, I love one layers. So there's some woodsy in the center which really sets off the daisy nicely. And we're just gonna go ahead and continue this for the other three flowers in this panel. Just gonna go around and the raised areas catch that ink so nicely. And then back to the woodsy for just the flower centers. And then the rest of the panel is going to be perfection. And I'm gonna to try to go kind of light and then I will add a little bit heavier hand as I go. But we want it to mostly catch on the raised parts. I'm not super worried about perfection here. We just want that nice illusion. Oh my goodness, look how pretty it starts looking once you start adding in the green. I think it just really sets off this little floral garden. And I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm gonna just kind of keep adding color until um, it looks the way I want it to. And don't forget the little area up here, so pretty. And I'm just gonna kind of go back around and make sure that I've hit everything. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my plastic splatter box and some of the Harvest Moon Tim Holtz Distress Mica Stain, which 
I absolutely love. I think it's my new favorite. It kind of gives a beautiful gold shimmer. Oh, before that, I'm so sorry, I almost forgot. I did go around the edges of my sunflower panel with some fawn ink and an ink blending brush first, very lightly all the way around the edges of the panel. Now we're going to grab our splatter box and that Harvest Moon Distress Mica Stain and we're going to lightly spritz both backgrounds and I'm going to do them both at the same time. My box is a little messy. Maybe I better dry up some sp little splatters there. And you want to shake it up till you hear that ball move around in the uh, stain bottle. I'm kind of shaking it more like a bell and then I'm just going to spritz and let it fall where it may. The great thing about this is I don't feel like it's super heavy and it creates just the right amount of distress and shine. I love those mica flakes in it. I think it's so beautiful. So while that is drying, I am going to stamp some sentiments from the Sunflower Fields stamp set. I ended up stamping four sentiments. I'm only gonna use two of them on my cards. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to use. So I am using some of the green leaf cardstock included in the kit. I'm gonna prep it with my powder tool first, and then we're gonna stamp our greetings with Simon's Has Stamp embossing ink, and heat emboss with the cream embossing powder. So because I used ivory backgrounds on my cards, I thought to use the cream embossing powder. It's gonna be creamy instead of bright stark white. I absolutely love the cream embossing powder. I think it's an awesome option. If you're looking for something that is a little bit creamier, a little bit softer and not that harsh white, we all love bright white, but it's sometimes fun to mix it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna heat set this. I'm gonna pick two of these to die cut with the Sentiment Labels dies. And then we are going to pop them on to our card backgrounds. I wasn't, and again, I just kind of stamped a few. At first I thought I might put a couple of them per card, but I really think just one is all I want on each design. And don't forget to buff away that extra powder once the embossing powder has cooled off. Uh, to clean up the cardstock. I'm going to tape my dies in place, run them through my die cutting machine one way, run it back through the other way, and then we are going to adhere these with foam adhesive right to our card backgrounds. Remember with the card kit that most of the components, if not all, are sold individually. So maybe you aren't a card kit subscriber, but you like to see what the stamp is each month. This would be a great opportunity maybe to pick up the stamp set in stencils or a new embossing folder or something like that. Definitely check out the links in the description below the video here on YouTube. I have links to not only the card kit, but also the individual products. I'm using that T-square ruler from Simon Says Stamp that I love to help line up my greetings. I got it out right away this time. No messing with trying to get it straight and not succeeding. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and start correct. And I've got my two little sentiments on my backgrounds. I'm gonna glue a little heart to each. These are the Coffee Bean Trinity Stamps hearts. I love these little brown hearts. And I think the brown really works beautifully with both of the backgrounds here today. And then I do have some pretty pink posh pearls in Limeade and Lemon. And on one card, on the card on the right, I'm going to use Limeade, and the card on the left, we are gonna use Lemon. And I'm just gonna add a scattering of these throughout each card design. The panels do measure A2 size, meaning they are four and a quarter by five and a half inches. If you are a five by seven card maker, the stamp from the Sunflower Fields, I think would be beautiful for five by seven cards. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. You won't have to cut off parts of it. You'll get a little bit more in the design. 
And if you would like a little border around the edges, you could always trim down your backgrounds to four by five and a quarter, and that would leave a nice little white frame all the way around the perimeter of the card. Here are those lemon little drops that we're gonna add all over. I am of course using my favorite Simon Says Stamp Triangle Trays to hold on to the pearls to make it super easy to grab the size that I want of pearl, pick it up with my embellishment wand and stick it down. Now I did stamp some individual tags. You might remember that I mentioned that there's some Hampton Art Deco tags in the kit. There's 20 of them in the pack. Wouldn't these make neat little favors or you could even mass produce cards and pop these on the front of a card or use it as a gift tag. I stamped an individual sunflower on the tag using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I also stamped a greeting. I used Autumn Blessings and I'm using the new Distress watercolor pencils to just color quickly color in my sunflower. I'll definitely be doing a longer tutorial at some point with these. I'm not going to add water to them. Uh, I did actually. I stamped multiple of these tags and I tried the water and I don't like how it turned out, but I really do like how it looks just straight colored with the pencils. You can see super quick coloring and how beautiful the watercolor distress pencils look on the craft cardstock. It looks absolutely amazing and creates a great little gift tag. You get twine in the package, plenty of twine for all 20 tags. So I will tie on a little bit of twine onto this little tag to finish it off. I thought it turned out so sweet and pretty and I love it. Look at how the color pops. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this video featuring the Simon Says Stamp October 2022 card kit called Sunflowers and Daisies. The supplies I use to create my cards and tag are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp card kit products that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to have you part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you and we'll see you again next time. Bye.